First Alert Weather with Caitlin Napoleone. It's 5:15. Happy Saturday, everyone. It's going to be a chilly start to the day, but it doesn't mean the afternoon is not going to be fantastic. So this morning, if you're up and about early, make sure that you do have your layers on because you'll need them. It's going to be 33 right now in Burlington as you step out. 30 in Plattsburgh, 27 in Newport, 28 degrees in St. J, 27 for Lebanon and Montpelier. A little warmer in Messina, 36 degrees. Same with Bennington and in Rutland, 32. About 24 in Saranac Lake, so certainly chilly in the Adirondacks. You'll notice we have a nice clear sky again. It's very quiet on your storm tracker. There's essentially nothing going on over Colchester. You can see a live look there shows a nice dry start to the day. We've got the sun coming up. That'll be up in about 50 minutes, and once it is, sunshine for the rest of the day and essentially throughout the rest of the weekend as well. It's thanks to a high pressure system. It is sitting right overhead of us. Our entire region will benefit from that, bringing us the sunshine. This sticks around for a couple more days. There is a little bit of a disturbance off to the north and west of us, kind of off the radar right now, but it will eventually dip a little bit further south as this high pressure system moves out to the Atlantic uh, by Monday. That could potentially impact us and bring us a couple of showers, but that's pretty much the most that we have going on over the next couple of days. Other than that, just sunshine, very quiet. Our winds are going to be light and it's going to be very dry. A pretty quick warm up thanks to that sunshine. By 8, 9 o'clock, we're already in the 40s. We'll be in the low 50s by lunchtime, mid 50s in the early afternoon hours, and quickly after that, getting into the upper 50s. And I think a lot of us will even top off in the low to mid 60s this afternoon with that sunshine really helping us to warm up. Now, with all of that sunshine throughout the day, uh, we do have very dry conditions. Our relative humidity is going to be low, which is going to be good comfort wise. But but our fire risk will continue to be maybe a little bit of an issue. So don't start any unnecessary fires. I think just uh, uh, keep it nice and dry here throughout the rest of the afternoon. Uh, we do have, uh, again, that potential for fires to spread very quickly. Future casts, just like it was yesterday and the day before, very quiet. We'll have lots of sunshine. We keep that dry air and the clear sky through tomorrow morning and into your afternoon hours. Uh, really just nothing going on, and as you can see across the entire region. Uh, by Sunday night and into Monday, you're seeing some of those clouds off to the north. That's that disturbance I was talking about. It's going to dip a little bit further south, and I think more so by Monday afternoon and evening, we'll start to see some showers work their way in from the north and push south. But as they do, mostly light, and I don't think a big concern for now. Look at that weekend you guys get to enjoy. 62 this afternoon, highs near 70 for tomorrow afternoon. It's going to be chilly in the morning like it was today and yesterday morning, but I don't think anything to complain about for the next couple of days. Monday will even start off dry and not too shabby temperature wise. It tops off in the low 60s. A weak front will dip south, like I mentioned, bringing us that chance for some showers. Most of them light to moderate on Monday night and a couple leftover light scattered showers on Tuesday. It comes along with a temperature dip. We should be dry though by Wednesday and Thursday in the 50s.